Greetings! Hello hackers, Apron here. Today we'll be finding out if Half-Life 1 can run on systems it wasn't designed to run on. And here's the PC I'll be using to test that. Under the hood we have a... Shit. Under the hood we have a 75 megahertz Intel Pentium chip. We have 8 megabytes of RAM, one of which is allocated to the onboard 6205 graphics chip. An 850 megabyte hard drive, which has Windows 95 OS or 2.5 installed. And up top, we have generic HP multimedia keyboard, PS2 mouse, and my Samsung Ultroid monitor. Please don't hate me. I don't have a CRT I could use at the moment, so please don't hate me, please don't hate me. And these flimsy speakers from Philips that I got at thrift store for probably like a dollar that connected to the computer's multimedia sound card by Turtle Beach. So without further ado, Let's get this thing up and running and see if we can play some Half-Life, hopefully. There we go. Perfection. Um, okay. Let's play some Half-Life, shall we? <laughs> of course not. Yes. All right, it's not when that we've inserted the disc. It should, oh, yep, there it is. We're ready to install it, I guess. Um, let me just, oh, jeez, this is slow. Um, I think it's already. Let's see here, it's still have life. That sound should play again, hopefully. We might need more RAM. Hopefully this optical drive can make it to the installation page, okay. It's weird that it's just frozen all of a sudden, that's weird. Uh. Ninety-nine percent. Okay. We're making some progress, I think. Hard drive's going crazy. What? There we go. Okay. Looks like we have another screen that opened up behind the this one. Just switch over to it real quick. That's the sound. Frostiest sound I've heard today. Wow. Um, and look at the textures, they look so bad. Um, yes, I heard that. Yes, then. Oh. It'll be fine, right? Do you wish to. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let's continue. Sierra Half Life, yes. Ugh. And now, we wait. Okay, looks like it finished. Um, hopefully we can play some Half-Life now. I made a whole freaking bagel by the time- oh. Um, so I detected that Microsoft DirectX needs to be installed on this system. Okay. Let's see if that will work. This was not the last one. Probably because they used Windows 98 for it. This is Windows 95. No, I don't want to update right now, so we'll click no. Please register now. Okay. Does that mean we have to... Ah. Let me just register later. Before you can use the- okay. Let me just restart real quick and see what happens. God, I love that sound. There's the graphics. Here we 
go. Wonder if the herd just has any bad sectors and that's why it took so long. Uh Computer? Hello? Uh that's not good. Computer is completely locked up. Seems to be unresponsive right now. Probably shouldn't press control delete in case it will ruin the system, but in cases like this I might have to do it anyway. Even that's not doing anything. Wow. Well. Control delete's doing nothing. That's really odd. Um Power on. Power on. Let's do normal. What? Well, that was weird. Um, I guess we're back at the login screen now. Or the desktop. That's a relief. Let's go ahead and launch some Half Life, I guess. Half Life. Oh, shit. Let me select it, goddammit. This mouse is. Here we go, launching Half-Life on a 75 megahertz Pentium without MMX instruction CPU, 8 megabytes of RAM, well it's technically 7 since one of the mags is located to the onboard graphics. Let's see what happens, let's hope this thing doesn't blow up. Okay, you just reported only, oh, Half-Life requires at least 16, well that's some new knowledge, okay, um, interesting, we didn't see that before on any of the other machines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plop one of these in here. This is a 16, I think, gate mega stick. That should allow us to, oh, here's another one. This is a, I don't know how many megs this is, but who cares. I'm gonna put that in and see what happens. Hold on. All right, let's see what that gives us. Only seven megs. That stick must be bad then. All right. Seven. Was that seven? Oh, that's weird. Still not grabbing the freaking ramp. All right, attempt three. Fuck. Why is that keep on hand? What? It's in five. This is proving to be a lot more difficult than I anticipated. Okay, turns out that was a 32 meg stick. That's a 32 megabyte stick. Um, let me see if I can do the other stick. That might be a 4 meg stick, I'm not sure. Please be 16, please be 16, please be 16. I want your one to be a 16. You're kidding, right? It's only a 4 meg stick? Okay, so I've made the conclusion that we should probably should use the 32 meg stick since we're using 2 megabytes of memory from the video chip. From this. So we might as well see what it does. Okay, now let's run Half-Life. All right, here we go. Half-Life 1 running on a computer with 30 megabytes of RAM. A... You're fucking joking, wow. It doesn't wanna give up. All right, it wants to give up. Let me just, 16 bit color. I don't want to restart, dude. All right, try it again. Attempt number three. Oh shit. It's slower than before, that's for sure. And there's the artifact thing again, what the heck? This is not gonna be good, I don't think. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, what the fuck? Gordon, what's happening to you, man? What's happening? You're all glitching out and everything. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, man, I don't know how to do, I don't know how to fix this. Oh shit, what the fuck? It's pretty loud. Um, let me turn that down a bit. Why is it only appearing in the top left? Oh my gosh. How long is this gonna take for like. <laughs> it's so bad! Even at this low resolution, it's so bad! Oh my god! Watch the cutscene take like two months to like finish. Uh, can I like move around? Oh yeah, I can! Artifacting is driving me nuts. That's more like it. Zoom out of it. Perfect. This is perfect. How do I skip this? Uh, God, the artifacting is so bad. Five minutes later. I could probably time this, but like, I'm gonna be lazy and say it works. Spare me the trouble of going for all the train ride, but like. It doesn't make sense to go any further, I think, since I know it's going to be playable-ish, or maybe not, I don't know. But regardless, let's say that worked, and there's actually one more thing, one more part to this video that I'm eager to show you guys. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I, I was so incredibly pleased to find a complete Packard Bell for $20 at the flea market. And this specs the question, can we run Half-Life on it? It's got a 486 50 megahertz CPU, 36 megahertz of RAM. But here's the thing, we need to somehow, the hard drive's not big enough. What I'll be using to do that is this. It's a IDE CF adapter. Let's hope I can install it correctly. You know, let me just put this in, clone the drive, and then see what happens. Alright, it's in. Let's see if we can boot it up and see some magic. Alright. So. Oh, what's wrong one? Bro, are you kidding me? It's already in there, what do you mean? Oh my god, I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> Bro, I forgot to put the IDE adapter in. Perfect, we got it, okay. Looks like we got all 2004 megabytes of it, so that's perfect. Um, let me just put this back together real quick. Alright, I'll back together, let's power it up. Okay, so I ran into a couple issues. Number one, this computer does not like the CD-ROM drive that's in it right now. So what I'm gonna probably do is get back to this video in a future episode. And for now, we'll say that undefinitive answer so far. This will be a two-parter. This PC will be up next in the series. But for now, I'll probably just call it a two-parter and leave this off to here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And um like, subscribe, and oh by the way, forgot to mention I have a Discord server now. I'll leave the link in the description. So please stop on over there if you are interested in tech videos or just chatting with me or my friends or whatever. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you there. Signing out. Bye.